excited to be here today in my storage unit because I just landed a new collection of vintage or pre-owned records. I'm going to talk you through where they came from, look through it live with you. Really haven't uh, gone through it in detail yet, so I'm super excited to go through it on this episode of Talking About Records. My name's G.I. Sanders from NTX Vinyl, small chain of independent record shops in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you're not local but you're in the U.S., you can shop online at ntxvinyl.com. We'd love it if you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So like I said, I just got a new collection in. It's on the, uh, the table right here behind me. I've gone through it a little bit. I've tried to get it organized just to be able to do this video. There was actually a lot more than I could fit on the table, um, but I kind of uh, put out what I thought might be the best to kind of go through and discover with you guys live. So let's get to it. I'm going to walk through all of these and uh, talk you through a little bit about the collection along the way. All right. As you can see, we've got about eight or nine crates of records to go through here. The total collection was around 1,500 LPs. Um, it was actually two collections. One came from a guy who had a, uh, a, a former radio DJ in the family, so there is some radio promo stuff, which is really cool. Um, and then the other person was in the music industry for a long time, so just a lot of unique stuff, um, and he kind of, kind of picked through and uh, downsized his collection. So. Uh, vast majority of this is classic rock, uh, classic country and R&B from what I can tell. A little bit of metal, and uh, uh, punk, 80s stuff um, uh, splattered in here. But for the most part, like I said, pretty much classic rock. So I'm going to start going through this stuff. I haven't been through a lot. Here's a, uh, a George Harrison somewhere in England. This is a sealed copy. That's kind of cool to see. Um, got John Lee, John Lee Hooker concert at Newport. All of this looked to be in really good condition, which is one of the reasons um, I was super excited about it. Um, a lot of times, obviously, you get a collection in, and then you got your work ahead of you in regards to uh, cleaning and uh, and grading and pricing and all that. And, and don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of that to be done here. But it's nice to see the jackets in really good condition, really well, really well cared for. So that's super excited. You got everything from Sinatra to Zappa, right, in this first crate. Um, like I said, I haven't looked through a lot of this um, yet, just kind of getting it organized. Um, here's one of those radio promos that I mentioned. This is Jethro Tull. Um, that is, uh, as you can see, a not for sale radio promo, not a white label though. No particular order to any of this uh, other than me just kind of getting it into crates so we could, uh, so we could look through it together. Um, this will all, all end up in my local shops. I do not sell a lot of vintage pre-owned records online simply because I prefer for people to be able to actually look at the records, especially in regards to condition when they purchase. So unless it's really high end, the vast majority of this will go into my local shops and take priority with my local buyers first. Uh, but you know, this is uh, just the beginning, obviously. You've got to get all of these, like I said, uh, if they need to be cleaned, I will certainly do so. And then we've got to be graded and priced. And so just a ton of work to come, uh, you know, to come after you actually acquire the collection. Here's a cool Night Ranger record, kind of an outlier. This looks like to be, looks like to be a German press, kind of cool. So pretty good, uh, pretty good stuff in here. Like I said, uh, random. You've got everything from Boy George to X, uh, Pat Benatar. That's another sealed record. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize there was uh, some sealed ones in here. Right next, you got Wham, Before We Go Go. B.B. King, that's a cool album. So yeah, definitely a, a mixed mixed bag in here from blues to metal to David Lee Roth. Got some Billy Joel. Um, there's a cool album, Robert Hunter, Tales of the Great Rum Runners. Robert Hunter, obviously um, famous for being the co-writer of vast majority of Jerry Garcia and the Grateful Dead's tunes. It's a nice copy of Ghost in the Machine by the police, love that record. Just a copy of Aja by Steely Dan. That looks to be sealed too, still in shrink. It's got a little starting to open there, but overall uh, still sealed. So at least you know the vinyl will be clean. Clapton, Gentle Giant. See, some of these are actually in sleeves because these did come from a personal collection, which is kind of nice. Here's a nice uh, Hendrix experience. Let's see what the label looks like. It's a tricolor. Nope, just the normal uh, the orange label, but nothing wrong with that. Nice condition. Love seeing the spine intact. Such a great record. Classic album. All right, you got James Gang, some more Clapton, Jackson Brown, Carly Simon. You've got the Beach Boys, California Girls, and All Summer Long. Like two really nice copies of early Beach Boys records. Ario Speedwagon. 
the Hooters. Oh, there's a cool record. Uh, Dennis Wilson solo record, Pacific Ocean Blue. Don't see that one very often. Of course, you got the self-titled Boston record. Got some John Lennon, Walls and Bridges. Here's a, uh, looks like a uh, Japanese version of John Cougar Mellencamp. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got going through here. Judas Priest. Dire Straits, Communique. Bat Out of Hell by Meatloaf. Some nice stuff in here. This is a pretty, pretty good mixed bag of records here. Devo, Crocus, really nice copy of Let There Be Rock by ACDC. Excited about this crate. Cars, door to door, not one I see that often. Deep Purple, Nitzinger, Last Exit by Traffic. Got to have some Elvis in there. Some Eddie Money, Bowie Station to Station, Super Tramp. Brother, where you bound? Kicks. There's an interesting one. Don't see that one too often. April Wine. Followed by the Go Go's and some more the, uh, David Lee Roth. So there you go. There's one crate down. Like I said, a lot of good classic rock. All right, let's move on to this next crate here. See what we got in store for us. Really nice copy of Tango in the Night by Fleetwood Mac. As you can see, still in shrink with the, uh, the hype sticker car on there, which is always cool. Some more Zappa. Another sealed sealed record. This is uh, the Old Masters Box 1. Jefferson Starship. Uh, Seth Duran Duran, I think. Some more Zappa Apostrophe. That's a cool record by the Stray Cats. Not one I see all that often. Pretty cool. Like I said, these are in no particular order. That's why I'm kind of just flipping through. Um, there we go. Tin Machine. David Bowie. Kansas. Allman Brothers, Corey Hart, REO Speedwagon. Nice to see some of these in shrink wrap. Some Hendrix in the West, Clapton, Rat. Got some spine wear and uh, splitting on that one, unfortunately. Adam and the Ants, The Eagles, John Denver, ZZ Top, a couple of ZZ Tops. What else we got here? We got the Doobie Brothers, Moody Blues. Boys, ABBA, start going through them a little quicker. Best of Yuri, uh, Heap, we've got Poco, that ain't gonna work. Poco, looks like we've got a couple B-52s here. Um, where did I leave off? More than one. Need some more, some more. These are really clean B-52s records, those are cool. We got some sticks. It's like a couple of sticks in a row. So some of these you can tell are organized and then all of a sudden it just goes random, blood, sweat, and tears. Plenty of Zappa. Seals and Croft. There you go. Michael Bolton. Get you some Michael Bolton right there. Total mixed bag. George Harrison. I like that. I always like the uh, the die cut extra texture there. Some more Eagles. Jay Giles. Best of the Doobies. The Kings. Wishbone Ash. Elton's Hits. Is that three, I think? Elton's Hits. Yeah. Volume three, yeah. We got John Mayhall, Linda Ronstad, we got uh, Pill, more Elton, Boston, Dylan. This is a great collection. Super excited about this. Stars, Give Me Back by Bullets by Skinner, some Credence, a couple of BB King records. Those are really nice. Not super valuable or rare, I don't think, but. Uh, Still cool to see. I've seen old blues stuff. It's got uh, Julian Lennon, Banana Rama, Ario Speedwagon, not sealed, but nice copy and shrink. Uh, Marshall Tucker, another copy of uh, Hendrix Experience. Let's see what this one looks like. Same label, same uh, orange label. That's cool though. Classic Neil Young, Kansas. Great Dylan record, Nashville Skyline. Let's see what the label is on this one, if it's the red and orange. Uh, it's a 2i, 2i Columbia rec, uh, label. Chicago, what do we got here? Culture Club, Genesis, Don McLean, some Sawyer Brown. All right, so there you go, crate number two. Let's keep working my way through. Next crate, this is an interesting one. The Stranglers 10 picture disc. I'm not familiar with that one. Year is this from? This looks like 1990, so definitely a newer, newer pressing. 
on a picture disc. Haven't seen anything quite that new. Got the best of share, nitty gritty dirt band, some more Billy Joel. Another Stars record. I don't see that one too often. Beach Boys, McCartney, ABBA's Greatest Hits. There's a cool album. We've got uh, Carly Simon. What is that one? Busta Jones, not familiar. Harry Chapin, Chase. Got some Credence. Rufus, that one's got some splitting on it. Billy Joel. Yes, is that yes? I believe it is. No, this is, uh, I always think this is yes because the, uh, the artwork's so similar. This is a interesting album. Um, yeah, it's just more like a uh, R&B, funk, soul type thing. Uh, Asabisa, I think that's how you say it. It's hard to pronounce that one. Classic uh, Deep Purple record, Grand Funk Live, Jeff Beck Wired. A lot of good stuff in here. Really excited about this. ELO, Simon and Garfunkel. This is a uh, sealed copy of uh, Almond Brothers, which is Enlightened Rogues. Cat Stevens, another Ario Speedwagon, yet more Zappa. There's a cool uh, soundtrack, The Wild Angels. Angels, Peter Fonda, Nancy Sinatra. Got some Neil Diamond. Let's see what we got in here. Santana, McCartney, a couple Santana, some more Credence, some Jim Croce. Some of the boss. It's a nice copy of Pink Floyd Animals. No barcode on the back. That's nice. That, mean, that means it's going to be pre-1980. This came out in 1977, which means a lot of times you'll see the barcode on the back. That means it's a later reissue. That one's a nice, clean one. Here is a nice copy of Zeppelin IV. Clean copy of Texas Flood by SRV. Gotta love that on the Epic label. Nice batch here. Petty self-titled. Really clean copy on the, uh, the moon label. All right. Here's a uh, radio promo of some sorts. Earthquake leveled. This has got the uh, timing strip on the cover. And just a normal, uh, normal pressing, though, not a promo. Got here some Todd Rundgren. Uh, BTO. Stump, Quirk Out. I'm not familiar with that one. That's a weird looking cover. This has got to be a little newer. Uh, made in England. Let's see what this looks like. You can see. Didn't have the year on the label or the uh, or the jacket. I'm not real familiar with that one. I have to look into it. Some more Simon and Garfunkel. Um, the best of Ian Whitcomb. Steppenwolf. Carly Simon. Another sealed record. Gordon Lightfoot, Leon Russell, Neil Diamond, another copy of that uh, All My Brothers, Jackson Brown. All right, moving right along. All right, let's check this next credit out. This is an interesting one. I can tell by looking at it, this is uh, probably a Taiwan um, unofficial bootleg. Yeah, you can see, and it all, they always come in these cheap plastic sleeves, and most of the time they sound terrible, but kind of a cool collector's item. Uh, if you're a Beach Boys fan, there's pet sounds. How to put that on the turntable, see if it's even audible. Uh, like I mentioned, a lot of this came from someone who uh, formerly worked in the music industry and is kind of downsizing their collection. So there's a lot of unique stuff, and it's all really well well cared for. Uh, there's the Guess Who, Got the SOS, Band on the Rise, a couple of Quadraphonic uh, Santana pressings. The, uh, the other portion of this collection came from um, a gentleman, and his father used to be a... Uh, a local DJ or radio personality um, here in Dallas. Um, it sounds like it was back in the uh, late 70s or 80s. And so uh, there's a good portion that came from him. Some of the promos, which I think are on the other side, we'll get to, um, were a part of that collection. But it was it was really cool chatting with both these guys that this, this collection came from. Um, a lot of really well-cared-for records, which is always nice to see. This is a cool compilation with Zeppelin, Yes, Delaney and Bonnie, John Prine, Buffalo Springfield. Pretty cool Atlantic compilation. Split, conflicting emotions, split ends. Uh, share, believe. Looks like a newer record. England's greatest hit makers. This is another cool, uh, another cool compilation. As you can see, this is promo, not for sale as well. Let's see if this is a white label, or if this is just a uh, probably just a promo sticker. If I had to guess, but you never know. Let's see what we got here. 
Now it is a white label promo. There you go. This is a London not for sale white label promo. That's pretty cool. It's got the surprise, surprise by the stones. It's got the zombies, Tom Jones. Probably uh, late 60s, I would guess. Probably not a year on it, would be my guess. A lot of times these compilations now, it just says printed in the U.S. So no, no year that I see anywhere. I'll have to look it up. It's part of the fun. So yeah, this is where the, uh, honestly, the acquiring the collection, dealing with the communication is, uh, is, a, is a big part of the work and, and bringing it in and all that. But uh, now the work really begins, honestly. This is cool. This looks like a 2018 live from CBGB's uh, Living Color pressing. I've never seen this. I don't know if this is official. It certainly doesn't look it. it. says first time on vinyl. This may be an official pressing. I was going to see if it's on black vinyl or what. Yeah, it's a new. It's got to be an official pressing, I would think. Maybe it's made to look unofficial. I don't know. Um, like I was saying, yeah, this is kind of where the uh, where the work begins now. Getting all these records in, getting them organized is the first step. Kind of getting an understanding of what um, what's here. And then from there, I'll start piecing it out and uh, and then getting it cleaned if it needs to be cleaned. Uh, most of this looks pretty clean, which is great, so I won't have to do a ton of extra cleaning. Um, and then obviously, you got to start grading and pricing and then figuring out uh, which of my local shops of the three this is going to go out into. So um, it is a labor of love. Um, there's a lot to do in regards to vintage pre-owned records when you get them in, um, you know, but it is fun. Love seeing stuff like this. Super cool. Bob Welch, uh, what is this? I'm not familiar with that. Angel on Earth as it is in Heaven. Definitely looks like some uh, mid 70s or 80s. 1977. There you go. Pretty cool. Kansas, pretty cool. Kansas cover. Uh, Naked Eyes, Berlin. Great album by Talking Heads. Uh, Adam and the Ants. Piano Man by Billy Joel. It's a nice album. Share. There's check that outfit out I assumed there was going to be more on the back and there you go, that looks like something out of Conan the Barbarian or something another copy of Aja by Steely Dan Journey um, looks like a few Van Halen here, here we go nice Van Halen collection love seeing those 1984, being one of my favorites Eddie Money there we go, some Iggy Pop Soldier, what year is this? this is probably uh, early 80s 1980, yeah Baby Pop, some solo Robert Plant, more Berlin, more Cher, man. They really like their Cher. Their Cher on a horse and Cher looking like an Indian. Gotta love that. Robin Trower, the Cars, Shake It Up, Pat Benatar, more Cars, Panorama, cool Bob Marley record. It's like a single, Clash single, Rock the Casbah. That's pretty cool. One of their most iconic tracks, uh, most well known tracks at least. Loverboy, Thompson Twins, and Jackson Brown to finish on off that crate. All right, let's swing around. All right, this crate here is one that I did organize, and I know that because uh, this is where a lot of the radio promos are here. So all of these um, up front here have the, uh, the promotional not for sale, and, and the majority of them I checked a few. They are white label promos, so that's really cool to see. Love seeing the promo copies. I've done uh, videos on it before. Um, it's always fun to see them in the wild. Um, these do have some kind of stickers on them that I'll probably work to get off. I'm just curious if this one is Dr. John. Let's see if this is a white label as well. No, this was just a normal label. So that's the thing. Sometimes it'll have the promo sticker on the outside, which is really cool. But it's just a normal normal record inside. So it's just a sticker on the jacket that uh, differentiates it. Seals and Croft. Here's a Ted Nugent promo copy. Let's see, that's a white label as well. Pretty cool. This is one I noticed because I'm a dead fan. This is a Terrapin Station. It's got the gold stamp on the back. It's got the uh, AirPlay sticker on the front. And then it is a white label uh, promotion copy, not for sale, which is always really cool. Love that record. I've got James Montgomery Band promo copy, Badfinger promo copy. Pretty sure most of these are the white label. Yeah, there's another white label. So those are really cool. Um, what else we have? Paul Butter, Paul Butterfields. There's Montrose featuring uh, Sammy Hagar, of course. There's the white label. 
This one even has the date stamp right on his face, which is November 1973. So I love seeing that stuff. Promo stuff is really cool. There's another, uh, this is a uh, red bone and it's got the uh, timing sticker on it, but it's just a uh, normal label. Redheaded Stranger, love seeing that one. Really nice copy. I think that's all the promos in here. It's like a pretty decent copy of the concert for Bangladesh, George Harrison. Lita Ford, there we go. That's pretty cool, a little newer. This has gotta be mid 80s, right? Yeah, 1988, late 80s, Lita Ford. Um, you've got Ace Fraley, Fraley's Comet. Skinnerd, Street Survivors. Let's see if this has the insert in it. You just got a little uh, torn up a little bit, unfortunately, but I love seeing if they have the uh, the tour insert, which it looks like it does. That's always cool. So there you go. There's the tour insert that actually lists the dates, uh, which is always cool. Obviously, they never made it to the back end of that tour. Uh, there's another copy of Give Me Back My Bullets. Uh, Nazareth. Some Wayland. More Nazareth and more Whalen back and forth between Nazareth and Whalen. Some Zeppelin, some more Willie, Hart, some SRV. As you'd expect, being down here in Texas, we see a lot of SRV, which is nice. Steely Dan, uh, this is Bobby Darren. This is a promotional, another promotional record. Let's see if this is a white label. Yeah, another white label. Motown, Bobby Darren, 1936 to 1973. Let's see where I was. I uh, some more Willie. See a lot of Willie down here too, which is great. The Kinks, uh, Barbara Lynn. I don't know that one. Jackie to Shannon. Thank you very much. Getting into Dave Clark Five. Some random ones here. The Beatles featuring Tony Sheridan. That looks like an unofficial bootleg. Maybe I'm not sure. I'd have to check into that. What else do we have here? Paul McCartney. Beatles. Some really cool Beatles stuff. It's Beatles Vancouver 1964. That's really cool. Alvin Crow. Not familiar with that one. Kenny Rogers. Linda. There's a cool, uh, this looks like a sealed reissue. Linda's uh, Greatest Hits. That's a numbered, uh, numbered copy there, which is kind of cool. Let's see what else we got. Some random R&B type stuff. There we go. Gap bands. Johnny Guitar Watson. There's a cool cover. How about that? Looks like he's doing all right. Bobby Rush. Gotta have that money. There you go. Phil Spector and the Ronettes. Those are cool. Two of those albums. Rick Wakeman. Jay Giles. Yes. America. Moody Blues Live. Blondie. Kind of flipping through quick, trying to get through these for you guys. Carpenters, Seals and Cross, Olivia Newton-John. What is that? That looks like uh, Sergeant Pepper. This is a Beatles bootleg of some sort, I think. Or maybe it's a compilation. It's hard to say. I'll have to look into that one. What do we got there? Rock and Roll Bash, The Crew Cuts, <laughs> Muscle Beach Party. I love seeing the old covers. The Marvelettes, Please, Mr. Postman. That's an old record there. Total mixed bag. Oh, there we go. That's a cool Christmas record. Pretty iconic uh, R&B soul. Got the Ronettes on it. What do we have here? Smile. This is uh, Beach Boys, I presume. Yeah, Beach Boys, probably an unofficial or a overseas bootleg or something. Or it could be official. I'm not sure. Never seen that cover before. All right, we're working our way through. We've got some LA guns kicking off this crate right into some, uh, is it Carol King, I think? It's gotta be Carol King. Um, yes, Carol King, sorry, I couldn't find the spine. Got Willen and Whaley, Whalen and Willie. Can't speak all of a sudden, Lake. Let's see if that's a white label, probably is yet. Another white label promo. So you can definitely tell there's a radio DJ at play here. More David Lee Roth. Some Cheap Trick. That's probably a white label as well, if I had to guess. Uh, let's see. Live at Budokan. Yeah, Cheap Trick, Live at Budokan. Demonstration, not for sale. Pretty cool to see that uh, with the timing strip and the white label. 
Uh, Velvet Underground, pick disc. Huh? I don't know if that's uh, how old that is. I have to look up the catalog number on that one. Uh, I've got some in excess. Um, Crawler, I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, it's got the timing strip on back. Looks like a uh, nice bunch of gentlemen. Alice Cooper. Oh, check that out. Oh, this is cool. Promotional copy. Still got the stickers, both of them, which are sealing this up. So this has never been open. You can't even get to the record. That's really cool. You usually see this one pretty beat up. So that's a pretty cool uh, copy of From the Inside by Alice Cooper with the promo stamp. I don't know if it's a white label or not. I'm not sure how I would know other than opening it up. Uh, let's see. We got Steely Dan. We got The Almonds. Uh, Janus, Greatest Hits. Kansas looks like a timing strip on Kansas. That could be a promo. Timing strip on Foreigner. So a bunch of timing strips on here. Delaney and Friends. Louis Cardenas, Animal Instinct. Not familiar with that one. Got some ZZ Top, another band we see a lot of down here. Cream. Uh, got some Vintage Crew, Theater of Pain. Clapton, ZZ Top. What well, looks like a really nice copy of one of the most iconic live albums of all time. Got some Genesis, another copy of Aja. I think that's the third copy of Aja. We got some Skinners, first and last. Um, Bedlam, that's got to probably be a promo since it's got that date stamp there. Yep, there's the promo on the uh, promo sticker on the back. And there's your white label, your Chrysalis label. That's pretty cool. Uh, where do we leave off here? Got the Kinks, and we've got some craft work. Cinderella, Long Cold Winter, as well as Night Songs. That's pretty cool. Buffalo Springfield, More Willie, More Willie, Simple Minds. Total mix back in here. Nice two record set from War, War Live. Aerosmith, oh, the Aerosmith Live with the uh, timing strips. Let's see if this is a white label. My guess is it's probably going to be. Yeah, it sure is. Live bootleg Aerosmith double LP white label promo. That's pretty cool. A lot of times the white labels are just cool to see. It doesn't necessarily make them um, more valuable all the time. Sometimes it can, but it just really varies by release. Crosby Nash, that's got the gold stamp promo. Um, what is this? Sweet, I believe. Yeah, Sweet 6. Uriah Heap. Heart. Heart. Um, what is that? Eat It. Always forgets. Humble Pie. That's right. Uh, there's a Quiet Riot record I don't see all that often. Some more Willie. Some White Lion. Uriah Heap. Uh, what do we got here? Striper. There's a cool album. I wonder if that's a promo. It's in a really bad sleeve. A couple of Striper. There is a uh, unique jacket. There is In God We Trust. And there is Isaiah 53, 5. Striper, I don't see those a lot down here. Jerry Jeff Walker, Sting, Bob Welch, some Elton, some Johnny Winter, some Sammy Hagar, and some Great White. So cool crate, some uh, interesting stuff in there. All right, working our way through. Got a couple crates left, kicking off with some Rush, some Crosby and Nash, Wynton Marcellus, totally random. This one looks totally random in here. What do we got there? Iggy. That looks cool. The last ever Iggy in the Stooges show. Oh, man. I'm going to have to check that out. Michigan Palace, Detroit. Very, very cool. I don't know if this is official or not. It looks to be. I have no idea if this is a rare one. I've never seen it. Very, very cool. It's on import records. You never know. 1976 Sky Dog Records. I'll leave that one up front and check into it. What else we got in here? Hopefully some more stuff like that. Grand Funk and 38 Special. SOS Band. Here we go. Sammy, the original television soundtrack. Sammy Davis Jr. That's kind of fun. Uh, Oak Ridge Boys. Buck Owens. Look like we got some old school country in here. But then you got Banana Rama too, so it totally varies. Amy Lou Harris. That looks sealed. That's kind of cool. What we got there? Stage Pass, Exile, the Miller Brothers. Some more BB King, some early BB King stuff. That's kind of cool. A couple of those. Maze, 
really cool diverse collection man i'm uh, gonna kind of breeze through some of this on the back end early psychedelic steve miller got some little feet van morrison we got there jim jones buck owens outdoor plumbing company i haven't heard of that one beach boys lefty frizzell this is a total mixed bag in this crate steve winwood uh we got melba moore robert uh, robert johnson uh, what else we got here? Some Yes, Judy Collins, Straubs, Robert Palmer, and some Cat Stevens and Jay Giles. All right, let's swing over. We are almost to the tail end here. Only got a couple crates left. Some Waylon, some Eagles, some Randy Travers. That's a sealed copy of 8x10, all 8x10 by Randy Travers. That's cool. Nat King Cole, Ramble and Rose. Boots by Saint, uh, uh, Nancy Sinatra. Stardust by Willie. Love seeing it with the uh, hype sticker with George on my mind and Blue Skies. It's a really cool uh, sound of Johnny Cash record. That's cool. More Michael Bolton. I love it. Um, you've got Outlaws, Genesis, Dan Fogelberg, Blood, Sweat, Tears, Hall and Oates. Crosby, Stills, Nash, Eddie Money, Sheena Easton, Warrior Scandal featuring Petty Smith. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I remember that song. That was a big song, The Warrior. Steve Hackett, The Motels, and then right to Frankie Valley. Totally random. It's like a nice copy of Quadrophenia by The Who. Love to see that. Andrew Gold, Best of the Bee Gees. Beautiful album by Stevie Nicks. The Wild Heart. John Fogarty. Billy Joel. Great record by Joe Walsh. Justin Hayward. Not familiar with that one. Joy of Cooking. What is that one? It's an interesting cover. Very cool. The Association. Billy Joel. Beautiful Day. Hey, there's some stones. I was wondering if we are going to see any stones in here. Spooky Tooth. Jefferson Airplane, The Hollies, Lindsey Buckingham. It's another great Stevie record. Tilt this up a little bit. There we go. Camouflage, The Great Commitment. Ray Thomas, what else we got? Some Aerosmith, more Hollies, Genesis, Till Tuesday, Pro Call Hiram, more Hollies, some Bowie, haven't seen any Bowie yet. What is that? That's a compilation. It's got to be some psychedelic stuff, I would presume. Got the leaves. Yeah, the electric prunes. The blues magoos. Cool stuff. I don't know what that is. Some sort of weird Japanese compilation, potentially. Billy Kramer. What else we got in here? Total mixed bag. The Everly Brothers. All right, looks like we're going to move to one last crate, which I know is a bunch of country. All right, last crate, and we'll wrap it up, and we'll kick it off with some whaling. Like I mentioned, this one's almost all country, I believe, because I was able to sort these out a little bit when I, when I was packing them up. So we've got all kinds of willy, as you expect, down here in Texas. Wayland, more Wayland, more willy, <laughs> more Johnny. More Willie, more Waylon, just back and forth, right? Ray Price, Crystal Gale, Hank Jr., some cool looking country. Hillbilly Deluxe by Dwight Yoakam, great album. Some Dolly, of course. What else we got here? John Denver, more Hank Jr. Got to have some Elvis somewhere in, in a collection, right? Definitely check that box. Ray Price. Marty Robbins, more Crystal Gale, Charlie Pride, another copy of that Willie, just saw one of those, Buck Owens, George Jones, Old School Country, more Ro Marty Robbins, Jim Reeves, Crystal Gale, some DAC for you, Human Emotions, Happy Side, Suicide, look at that, look at that guy, he means business, what year is this, this has got to be Late 70s, yep, 1978. Look at that belt buckle. Everybody needs a belt buckle like that with their name on it, I would think. 
All right, some Alabama, some Bob Willis, some George Jones, Mickey Gillis. What else we got here? Glenn Campbell, Ray Charles, some Reba. There you go. Randy Travis, Johnny Cash. Ooh, there's a great rec record right there. Shotgun Willie. Love that album. All right, so there you go. That is the end of the road. We'll end it with Randy Travis. Thanks for watching another episode of Talking About Records. Like I mentioned, all this is just show and tell. I really just like flipping through them and talking about them and, and getting to see them for the first time. Um, it'll take us weeks, if not more than that, to get all this uh, properly graded and priced and into our local shops. So really appreciate you guys watching. I love going through these things and discovering them. So hope you do too. And we'll see you again soon on another episode of Talking About Records. As always, stick around on the channel. Check out some more videos and appreciate all the support.